Morning everybody, I'm back out again, back out on the fields, absolutely loving it. It's a bit nicer today than it has been, so I thought I'd get out. No rain forecast today, thank God, don't want to get wet today, really not in the mood for that. I was on an R in today, I, d I just wasn't sure, wasn't quite feeling it. But I thought it's a shame to waste such a calm, nice, cool day, it's really nice today, so I thought I'd get out. Oh, just let the car go past. So rude. Yeah, right, so we're going to get on anyway. Anyway, I've got something new, so I'll show you that. Right, there it is. I'll show you that before I get on. And off we go. All right, here we are. I thought I'd show you my new premium stainless steel spade. Look at that. It's beautiful. Look at the welds on that. And it's by Noble MDT. I don't know if you can see that, if it focuses. No, it's not going to, is it? Yeah, Noble MDT, British made, absolutely fantastic quality. See if I can light down, there we go. All right, there we go, look. There's Noble MDT. Look at that. Beautiful bit of kit. So check them up on Facebook, Noble MDT. Carl is a great guy, he'll sort you out with anything you want to know. Absolute quality item. So I'm going to give it a bash today and see what it's like. I've come into a field this morning that I haven't done yet with the knocks. I haven't been in, obviously I haven't done any of them properly with the knocks. First signal, solid 18, and it's there. Looks like it might be onto a coin or a button. First hole. Reckon that's a button? Yep, silver plated button. First hole in, onto a button. Uh, it's not bad today. Bit cool, but it's, there's no wind or anything, so it's ideal really. All right, this was a solid 20. No idea what it is, but oh, a massive pain in the ass. I hate doing this, but I've left my digging tool at home. Do you know what? Going by the edge of that, I reckon that's going to be a pot leg. It feels really heavy. Yes, look at that. Bit of medieval. Oh, pop. There we go. Little medieval pot leg. I'm actually really chuffed with that. I haven't found a pot leg for a little while. Excellent. Oh, poo, look who's coming. Oh, he's the... Well, it's a cow, I think, but he's the... She's the one that's attacked me before. Oh, my God, I'm going to stop filming. All right, we've got a 17-18 there. Let's have a go at this one, shall we? Bit rocky here. A couple of rocks in there. Go on. See if we can get it out. Oh yeah, some big rocks in there, isn't there? Still there. Oh, here them rocks. Let's have a look. See if we can get it with a pinpointer. Oh, 
Right. Really, is that it? That's it. Just a teeny bit of round copper, like a rim of something. Oh well. Alright, next signal up from that hole there was a 19. Oh, sounds like we're getting a flyover. Focus says go just a piece of lead. Okay, nice little flyover for the day. One for you, Gareth. This one's looking pretty promising for a coin, maybe. It was a 20. Oh no, I think. Is that something in the middle of it? It looks very, very thin. Mm, do you know what? Could be a coin. Yeah, I think it's a coin. It's very thin. Hmm. I'll give it a little wipe, see if anything comes up. If it does, I'll come back. If it doesn't, I won't. Well, now I've come back in a field that I had two hammers in when I first got the Knox. The little Lizzie um, Penny and the Eddie Penny. Just had an 11. I assumed it was there because you can see that. You're going to have to excuse me. I haven't got my digging tool. Just push it in. All right, so it's in that. Turn that back on. Yeah, it's in there. Oh, I can see it already, it's just a bit of copper. Oh, well that was worth it, wasn't it, eh? You never know till you've dug it. A bit of copper. Well, I've come down a little, slightly junky area. Right, it's got proper battered old horse thing. And I've had a solid 16 and I can see it before I even bent down. Looks like a lead disc. Anything on it? I don't think it's just going to be a blank one. Yeah, there we go. Maybe a, a wait at once upon a time. Cool. I'm in the area that I had the two hammers, literally around where I am now, and I've missed this. There's a 19. That's like a button. A button, has it got a shank on it? Yeah, it's got a shank. Let's try and pop it off. Pop! There we go. Yeah, there's the shank. Nothing on it, I don't think. If I missed that, I could miss another hammered. Alright, this touches 30. 26 to 30, this one. I think we're going to have to have this one out of the ground, aren't we? Still a bit rocky. Uh, this is probably the best numbers I've had today, so... Fingers crossed. Yeah, mate, it's in a rock. Oh. 24, and I can see it. I'm going to stick a glove on. Just because I don't want to get covered in mud. Right, it's whatever's in this. We've got a ball. Oh, looks like it could be a rim. I don't know if you can see that. It's a rim. And we've got a coin. A small coin, probably a farthing, could be Charles II, William III. Excellent, I'm well happy with that. I 
knew I should have live dug this one. It was touching 34, 33 and staying, staying around the early 30s. I just dug it out and it's there, look. Looks like a massive coin. First big coin like that I've had in a long time. Is it a cartwheel or is it just a Georgia third penny? God, I can't see. I can't see much on it. I'll have to give it a little clean. I have to say wow to this coin. It's not what I thought it was. Have a look at this. That is a Hibernia, huge penny. Never had a penny Hibernia. You can actually read Hibernia, or I can. The date is 1835. And look, that's George the Fourth. George the Fourth, big Hibernia Irish penny. Oh, absolutely love that. And the sun's come out just in time to show it off. Look at that. I am so over the moon with that. Find of the day for sure. Just thought I'd come back to this. It's actually 1823. George IV, Hibernia, Irish, Big Penny. Never even seen one before, let alone dug one. That's one of my favourite coins I've dug for a while. Absolute beast. It's huge. I just had another really deep sounding one that was touching 2830. And look in the hole. That's another big coin. That's another massive coin. God, blimey, who's going to be on this one now? Look at the size of that. I can't actually believe this today. This is incredible. It's only a coin, well, it's a coin I found, but it was a huge bucket lister before I found it. And this is my best condition one. It's an 1811 Cornish penny with the fish. Fish across the middle and like jelly mould type things. Wow, Georgia 3rd, 1811, mining token. It's probably Scoria, Scoria mine. Oh, I'm so happy, that's my best condition ever won. That's incredible. Well, I'm still kind of down by all the rubbish. Just had a solid 14, and there it is in the hole. After I stuck the spade in the second time, popped up there you go it's just a tom back button that's seen better days no shank and proper nibbled but yeah another another decent find i've just had two bits of foil that were eight nine ten got to dig them well i just thought i'd spin back round where the georgia fourth huge hibernia penny was because i kind of gridded up and down i didn't really do around the area and look at that right in the bottom of the hole. This is a solid 17. Right there, look. It came up in the, in the edge there. That's a weight. It's got a hole right through it. wonder how old that is. Could that be medieval? A net weight or something like that? It's nice though. I like it. All right, so I'm only about five feet away. Just had an 11. And it's a tiny little button, I think. I think it's just the front of a two-piece button. Yeah, I think I can tell from that it's uh, general service. Probably a cuff or collar button. That's, that's really good, I'm chuffed with that. Solid 11, that was on the Knox. <sighs> Holy moly. I think I've, well, I know I have. I can see half of it. I've just found a big hammered coin. Oh my God, it was a solid 18 on the Knox. And I'll tell you what, it's not too far from the spot. If you remember quite a few videos ago, I found uh, Elizabeth the first sixpence. That's in this field. And it's really, really pretty close to where I am now. Oh, I'm going to spin you around and see it. It looks gorgeous. Oh my God, I can't believe I found another one. New spade, new, new luck. Brought me some good luck today. Look at that. That is 100% a hammered coin. Oh my God. 
but I'm going to take a picture or two. Oh dear, right, let's get it out, shall we? That's got to be at least a sixpence, isn't it? Oh, look at that. Oh yes, look at that. Right, I wonder what it is. Check that. Got to be a Lizzie sixpence in it. Oh, let's give it a quick wipe. Yeah, that's a Lizzie sixpence in it. I can't tell the date on it. It's a bit grubby on this side. Oh, yes. I can't believe I've had another big hammered in here. This is my fourth hammered in here. Third with the knocks. <sighs> what a day. All the big coins coming out today. Right, I was getting really excited about this one because it's an 18 and it's only a couple after the hammered. It's in this, I've been pointing it to that. And I reckon we're just going to have a bit of slag or something. A bit of nonsense. Oh. Doesn't look like nonsense. That's a pretty shape. Sorry, has it not even been focused all that time? Yeah, it's a pretty shape. No idea what it is. Almost looks clog claspy, but it's too thick and flat. Yeah, cool. Something different, something else. Alright, I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's got an R stamped on it. And I bet you, bet me bottom dollar, it probably says VR. I think it's like a lock slide. You know, off a big padlock. Or something like that. Yeah, actually, it is VR. I think I can see the crown. Just above the R, there's a crown. Cool. All right. Well, at least I can see something on it anyway. We're on to another one here. Another 14. All right, and it's there. I can see the dark soil. Yeah, it's definitely that. Is that it? Oh, no, that's not it. What's that? I don't know. I can see it, it's green. Is it a button? Oh. Oh, what's that? You see that's got three holes in it. Hmm. No idea what that could be. It's got an old patina to it, but I don't think it's that exciting. This one was a nice crisp 13. And it's in that and pointed it to this right can I see anything don't think so oh yeah I think I can just gonna be a bit of rubbish or is it oh no oh look at that oh it looks like a patterned buckle well a very small fragment of one a corner of one yeah look at that that's nice that Pretty cool, bit of age to it. Right, that's the end of another hunt. Another fantastic hunt. Absolutely blown away with how much I keep finding up here, especially with that machine. Absolutely loved it today. Had those two huge coins, had the token, which was an epic bucket lister of mine, and it's the best one I've had so far. So that's amazing. I've never, ever seen a Georgia 4 Hibernia Big Penny. So that, you know, they can't be very common to come up. So I'm over the moon with that. Uh, certainly something I've never had anyway. The spade, absolutely brilliant bit of kit. 
so sturdy, so strong, and it cuts through beautifully. Takes a bit of getting used to from having a 499 spade for three years, but I loved it, absolutely loved it. The weight, fantastic. I dragged mine anyway. <laughs> but yeah, brilliant bit of kit. So give uh, um, Carl at Noble MDT a shout, and he'll sort you out one of those amazing spades. Fantastic bit of kit. Right, yeah, the Knox done absolutely brilliant today. I'm absolutely knackered though now. I'm really tired. Got to go home and have some dinner, then go and pick up Aaron from school. So I'll see you next time. Cheers. Mm -hmm.